Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, what to use Selenium with. Selenium with Java or uh, Selenium with Python, JavaScript or Ruby or C Sharp or .NET or any other specific language. This question is always like, always comes to my DM. Then they people ask that, okay, I'm a fresher. I'm coming from the manual testing background. I really want to switch to the automation and uh, I really want to learn Selenium, but what is the right language? I should pick because uh, I have no exactly uh, specific programming language experience or a background, but uh, I know the basics of C or C++ from my college time, but now I really want to start Selenium with a specific language. So tell me according to the market standard, and according to the current market, what is a trend is going on with Selenium? So I would say that's a standard answer we all, we all always give that uh, Selenium with Java, 60, 70, 80% market captured by Selenium with Java. That is true. There are other uh, players also in the market like Playwright or Cypress. Playwright with Java, Python, .NET and Ruby. Sorry, with JavaScript is also available. With Playwright, with TypeScript is also available. Cypress is only with JavaScript and the TypeScript. But you are getting a liberty in Selenium and the Playwright that they have support for multiple languages. That's why... Selenium is so, so popular in the market because of uh, multiple language uh, support. So now the question is that with Selenium, what is a trend? But the trend is still in 2023, guys. That is Selenium with Java. I'll give you the official stats and the surveys and some polling that we did. And uh, then you decide accordingly. And you can see that multiple job descriptions and still the job requirement. And then they are asking for Selenium with Java language. Why? Because... Java is having a huge, huge community support. And if you go to, if you stuck anywhere in Selenium with Java, there are solutions are available. Java is very, very robust language and very popular, very old language. And then a lot of things are happening with respect to Java also with the new versions. And officially Java 11 is now supported with Selenium. JDK 8 is already deprecated. It's almost gone with Selenium. There is no support for JDK 8. So these things makes a very popular Selenium with Java combination. And the, most of the projects are there in the market, in the industry. People are using it with the Java. So you cannot suddenly say that, okay, no, uh, leave Selenium with Java, suddenly apply Python or some other language or XYZ language. No, we cannot say that. Same thing with other tool also. I cannot say that, okay, my code is actually working fine. The framework is already designed. Team is already established with Selenium and with Java, for example, I cannot say, okay, suddenly finish everything and then uh, let's introduce Cypress and the playwright in that case. So uh, I'll give you a couple of uh, stats here so that uh, it's not like that. We are just randomly talking about no Selenium Java is the only ultimate, um, ultimate thing in the market. It's not like that. So I'll overview. Overall, I'll give you that if not Java, if you're not comfortable with Java, that which language are you going to start with? That also I'll tell you. So let me share my screen here. Okay, so this is the official Selenium website. First of all, that uh, you can say that this survey is actually done by Selenium. Result of the first ever Selenium survey happened somewhere in 2021. So not that old, but uh, here <clears throat> they ask about it. Okay, which is the most popular browser? You can say Selenium Dev. I'm on Selenium Dev. It's not like any random application or random uh, website. It's not like that. So here you can see that the most popular browser Percentage wise, ninety eight percent goes with Google Chrome, sixty seven with Firefox, Edge for thirty three, Safari, and then Internet Explorer. Although I is almost already gone from the market, but still Chrome and the Firefox generally people they always prefer. So that's very much clear. In terms of mobile browser, mobile browser Firefox for Android, Chrome ninety one percent, and Firefox Android is thirty eight percent. Microsoft Edge fourteen percent, Samsung Internet sixteen point six, and Safari on iOS. 69% people they are using it okay now the language support here you can see that java is around 67% okay so language support is uh, what one should suspect with most users using java or python so that's what i told you around 70% market captured by selenium with java then python around 31% then ruby then .NET with c sharp and JavaScript and then PHP. Why JavaScript is slightly slightly low with Selenium? Because Selenium with JavaScript is actually on uh, top of that. The wrapper is available in the form of WebDriver IO. So most of the people, they use WebDriver IO. And WebDriver IO is not the official product from Selenium dev team. So that's why they have not included the WebDriver IO 
things here. Okay, so we are not talking about Selenium web driver and protector and all those things. Sorry, we are not talking about the web driver IO and the protector. So that's what the JavaScript percentage is slightly down because of uh, Selenium with JavaScript is a very rare combination. People generally, they don't use it. And most of the people, they are going with Java and the Python. Okay. And uh, here you can see that around 410 response were there. And then, so that is again a decent, I would say the survey that happened. And then, uh, and it's not like that, okay, they openly declared it. So 410 response to 19 had something nice to say about Selenium. And then they were thankful about the product and everything like that. I also did some surveys on LinkedIn and uh, you can see that around 7,000 or 6,800 people uh, voted for uh, which UI automation library are you using in your project? So obviously people voted, that's why it's coming from the community only. And then they are using 72% use Selenium, then Cypress and Playwright. Maybe Cypress and Playwright is again, uh, I would say is again a big competitor in the market that maybe Playwright somewhere people are started preferring it. And then maybe Cypress now it's already old now, like not exactly old like Selenium, but around seven, eight years is already there in the market with Cypress. And uh, Selenium again is a winner here, 72%. Same thing with the language also, I will I have opened another tab here. You can see that around 6,000 people, they voted. Interesting to know that what's your preferred programming language to test automation in 2022? Actually, I did it last year. Maybe some percentage could be down or low with Java, but it's again, 65 to 70% market captured by Java only with Selenium. Okay, in terms of test automation, then JavaScript is very, very popular because of Cypress and the Playwright and then then a uh, Nightwatch JS and there are other automation tools also available in the market because JavaScript is having varieties of automation tools. They support JavaScript. So maybe the percentage is again 12%, then Python with 17, C sharp is uh, only 4% here. So I'm not saying that the specific language is good or bad. Every programming language is the concept will remain same. They are also like doing the exactly same thing. The other programming languages that they are, people are doing it. The only concept here is that guys try to understand that we, if you are a fresher and uh, if you are coming from the manual testing background, that really want to get into the automation thing that in that case, I think uh, learn with the, those things, with those tools and technologies and the language, which are very popular in the market. So according to me, if you take my suggestion, you start with Selenium with Java instead of Selenium with the, some other language like Python or something. But if you are coming, let's see from Python background, you have done some API automation with Python or something with Python. You really feel comfortable that, okay, no, Python is really easy to go with that. Then you can start with Selenium with Python also. But uh, market is already a little slow and a little competitive in terms of uh, opportunities. A lot of people are there. And then uh, if you are getting, let's see, few calls, let's see, you're getting only five calls and out of five only uh, one or two calls you are getting only for Python or let's say out of 10, you're getting only one or two calls for the Python, then it will be a little disappointing for you. Then you could have thought about it. Okay. No, I could have learned with Selenium with Java actually, because four to five or five to six, uh, opportunities are there with Selenium and Java. So that is a market trend. When I talk to people, when I see the job description and HR and everything, when I talk to different HRs also, and then hiring manager, and then we do a lot of meetups and everything. Then we talk to them. Most of the people are still using Java. And they prefer to hire a new guy in Java only. And whenever there is a new project or new automation project, they are going to start. They always prefer Selenium with Java until unless they really want to do something extra like Cypress or Playwright, then they can prefer with, uh, uh, you know, C sharp also, or uh, Python also, or maybe JavaScript. So I would say if you are exactly a fresher, you really want to start your automation, think about that. You really want to get into automation from manual testing background. And then I really want to uh, get into automation profile. I really, I'm looking for some change in the market. And then I think you should start with Selenium with Java. Why? Because uh, you are totally fresher. You are totally new in the programming world. So whatever the things that you are learning with respect to Selenium with Java and is learning all the object oriented programming concept and Java concepts properly, then it will be very easy for you to learn Selenium plus very easy to crack the interviews also, and you are getting the opportunities also in the market. But at the same time, let's say you're learning Selenium with Ruby. I'm not saying I'm not against any language, but I always talk about on the stats that, okay, according to the current market standard, Selenium Ruby is a very, uh, you know, less market in the market, uh, in the less percentage in the market that in that case, uh, 
only out of 10, let's see one or two calls that you are getting. That is also very, uh, maybe it's not your cup of tea or maybe you are not getting, you are getting rejected after one or two calls. It could be anything. Then you are again, you have to wait for another, uh, you know, another month or a couple of months to get another opportunity with Selenium with Ruby. And you have to always check that, okay, do we have any opportunity in the market Selenium with Ruby or any other language? So that's what take a right decision, a smart decision. As a trainer, as a teacher that I always see when I talk to a student, talk to people, they always say that, okay, no, I, I started Selenium with Python one year back and c with one year back, but I could not make it, uh, you know, could not get the opportunity in the automation. Why? Because of uh, very, very less opportunities are there in the in US or India and UK or whatever. Okay. Maybe it could happen with, let's see for a specific location. Maybe it could happen with the Selenium with Java also. Maybe in that particular area, Selenium with Java is not very popular. So it depends, right? So I would prefer that um, if you are totally new, the advantage you will be getting it that you can easily learn the specific language. And if you're learning Java, it's an amazing language. And Selenium with Java, you are getting extra advantage that the market is really, I mean, the market is 70% market captured by Selenium with Java. Second, Use case is that if you're coming from, let's say, Python background, or let's say coming from the Java background, you want to learn Python, then it will be a little difficult because your mindset it always works with the Java only that, okay, how exactly memory management in Java, how exactly object-oriented programming concepts in Java works, similar kind of concept do we have in Python or Ruby or C-sharp also. So you always confuse. So that is the problem that we always feel. In fact, I am also coming from the Java background, then I always struggle with other languages sometimes. That, okay, no, because we are so used to with the Java or specific language, then we try to learn the new things. It takes time, right? So think about the productivity and everything also that are you really ready for the writing the code full flesh the way you were writing in Java? So tomorrow, if you're getting any Selenium with Python or C-Sharp project also, are you really comfortable with that or not? Can I expect the immediate result from your side? Can I expect the immediate test case automation from your side? No, so that obviously it's not fair also because you're coming from a different background. You learn the new things. Now you really want to implement slowly you are going. And then after six months or maybe one year, you will start getting the full flesh uh, productivity. You will start getting the confidence in that new language also. So that is the thing I really wanted to highlight that uh, <clears throat> I'm not against any specific language or any specific tool, but whatever the current market standards are going on, and if you're looking for a change and uh, looking for uh, your profile change from manual to automation, or you want to learn automation or something like this, I would always prefer whatever the current market is going on. Always go with the trend. Okay, that will help you a lot. So yeah, that's all for this video. And if you like it, please share it with your friends who are having the same feeling that what should I learn with the specific tool, which language that I have to go with that. Thank you so much, guys.